Hello everyone, today our topic is how to create Facebook page post for Google Calendar events. So here our objective is that whenever we create a new event in our Google Calendar, then we want to capture those details and we want to use these details to create a new post in Facebook page. For that, we will create an integration between Google Calendar and Facebook. For creating this integration, we are going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Pabli Connect, we are going to use Trigger and Action. In Trigger application, I'm going to use Google Calendar. In Action application, I'm going to use Facebook. So how I'm going to create this integration? For that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today we are going to see that how I am going to create new Facebook page post for Google Calendar events. So here, whenever I will create a new event in my Google Calendar with all the details of my event, then I will capture these details and then I will create a new post on my Facebook page automatically. So here I'm going to build an integration between Google Calendar and Facebook page. And for creating this integration, I'm going to open a new tab and search for pabli.com. And this will take us to this landing page of Pabli. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli, you can just sign up for free and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundreds of tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in and you will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I'm going to click here on Access Now button under Pabli Connect. And this will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflows that we will create here. And this is the folder section. We can create new folder here and we can save any workflow in any particular folder that we want. Now we want to create a new workflow. For that, I'm going to click here on create workflow button and this window will pop up. Here, I have to name my workflow. So I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to create Facebook page post for Google Calendar events. Now I'm going to select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I'm going to open this tab and I'm going to select home here and I will click on create. And this will take us to this most important window of our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on. And trigger says when this happens, action say do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So I'm going to set up my trigger first and here my trigger application will be Google Calendar. So I'm going to search for that and I'm going to select this. Now I have to give a trigger event. So I will open this tab and new event will be my trigger event. So I'm going to select this and I will connect Google Calendar with Pabli Connect. So I'll click here on connect. I will click on add new connection and I will sign in with Google. I will click on allow to give access to my account. And my connection here is successful. Now I have to select my calendar. So for that, let's go to Google Calendar. And here, these are my calendars and I'm going to use this demo calendar. So I will go back to Pabli Connect and I will open this tab. And here you will see all the calendars that you have in your Google Calendar account. And I'm going to use this demo calendar. So I will select this. And now I will go back to Google Calendar and I will create a new event. So I'll click here on create. I will select this option of event. And now I'm going to fill all these details. So first I will give title. So my title will be science webinar. Now I have to give the date. So my date will be 22nd of December and it will end on the same day. Now we'll find a time and my timing will be 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. So these are my start date and time and end date and time. Now I'm going to give a description to my event. So I'll click here and I will type my description here. So this is going to be my description. So my description is, we are organizing our science webinar on topic subatomic particles and we have a special guest, Mr. Charles Xavier and kindly join us. So this is going to be my description. So I have filled all important details here. Now I'm going to click on save. So I have created this event on 22nd of December, day is Friday. Now we'll go back to Pabli Connect and I will click on save and send test request button. 
and here we have received this new response. So the summary is science webinar, status is confirmed, time zone is Asia Kolkata and this is the start date and time 22nd of December 2023 and this is the date but we are getting this time in UTC time zone and this is the description. We are organizing a science webinar on topic subatomic particles and we have a special guest Mr. Charles Xavier kindly join us and this is our end date and time 22nd of December 2023 and we have this time but this time is also in UTC time zone. So for using this start date time and this end date time we need to change this particular time zone into Asia Kolkata. So for that I will set up my action step and in this I'm going to use date and time formatter which is a tool that Pabli offers. With this tool I can change the format of my date and time in any particular format that I want. So I will search for my tool which is date and time formatter. So I'm going to select this. Now I have to give an action event. So I will open this tab and format date with time zone will be my action event. So I'm going to select this and I will connect this. Now I have to select my date. So I will click here and I'm going to open this Google Calendar response. In this I will first select my start date time. So I'm going to change the time zone of my start date time. So my date format is correct. So I'm going to leave these two things unchanged from format and to format. And in from time zone I'm going to select my time zone. So in time zone I'm going to select UTC. I will click here and I'm going to change this time zone into Asia Kolkata. So I will select Asia Kolkata here. So this is going to be the time zone on which I want to change my time. I will click on save and send test to button. And here we got this result. So my final date is 22nd of December 2023 and the timing is 10 a.m. So I have changed the time in the format that I want. Now we'll add another action step. And I will again choose date and time formatter. I will give an action event. Format date with time zone. I will connect this. And in the date I will choose my end date time. So I will open this Google Calendar response again. And here I have this end date time. And here I'm going to leave these two things unchanged from format and to format. And I will follow the same step. So here in from time zone I will open this tab and I will search for UTC time zone. And in two time zone I will search for Asia Kolkata time zone. I will select this and I will click on save and send touch to quiz button. So I got this result. So my final result is 22nd of December 2023 and the end time is 11 a.m. So I have got my start date and time and end date and time. Now I'm going to add another action step and in this I'm going to create a new post by using the details that I got from my Google Calendar events and here my action application will be Facebook pages. So I'm going to select this and I will give an action event. So I will open this tab and create page post will be my action event. So I'm going to select this and I will connect Facebook pages with Pabli Connect. So I'll click here. I will click on add new connection and I will connect with Facebook pages. Now I will click on continue to give access to my account. So my connection here is successful. Now I have these three details to create a new post. So first I have to select my page on which I want to create a post. So I'll go back to Facebook and this is my Facebook page and it is named as Pabli. So I'm going to use this page to create a new post. So I will go back to Pabli Connect and I'm going to open this tab and in this tab you will find all the pages that are connected with your Facebook account and I'm going to search for my Facebook page here. So my page name is Pabli. So I'm going to select this Pabli page. Now I have to give message and in message I will give the content of my post and for the content of my post I will map the details from the event that I have created in Google Calendar. So I'm going to use mapping here. So what mapping is? Mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous tabs and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping I'll click here. I will open this response. So first I will give the title. So this is my title which is science webinar. I will give a space and I will map the description of my event. So this is my description. So I'm going to select this. We are organizing a science webinar on topics subatomic particles and we have a special guest Mr. Charles Xavier 
kindly join us i will give a space and i will type date and time i will give a semicolon and i'm going to map my start date and time and end date and time and i have this and i have my start date and time and end date and time in this date from the result of date and time formatter so i'm going to open this response for start date and time so this is my start date and time space i will give a dash again a space and i will map my end date time so this is my end date time so i have mapped all my details here and this is going to be my post so it will start with science webinar and then the description and the details of date and time if you have a particular link url you can fill this detail i don't have any link url so i'm going to leave this blank and for creating the post i will click on save and send as request button and here we have this positive response so this means this has created a new post in facebook page so to check this let's go to facebook i'm going to refresh this page and here in the post section we can see that i have created this new post so i'm going to click here on see more and this is my post so it starts with science webinar we are organizing a science webinar on topic subatomic particles and we have a special guest mr charles devio kindly join us and we have this date and time which is 22nd of december 2023 and the time is 10 am and the end date and time is 22nd of december 2023 11 am so these are the same details that we have in my google calendar event and i have used these details to create a new post in my facebook page so this was our objective so our integration between google calendar and facebook page is working successfully now let's go back to pabli connect and here we have created this integration between Google Calendar and Facebook page such that whenever I'm creating a new event in my Google Calendar, then we are using those details of the event and then we are creating a new post in my Facebook page with the details of the event. So let's summarize what we did here. First, I have set up my trigger and my trigger application was Google Calendar and my trigger event was new event. Then I have set up my action step and in this action step, I've used date and time formatter by Pabli and I have formatted the time zone of my start date and time and end date and time. Then I have set up my last action step and in this my action application was Facebook pages and my action event was create page post. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow and I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there and thank you for watching this video. Not just these application, you can automate and integrate a lot more application like this using Pabli Connect. If you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the If you have any queries, you can post them at forum.pabli.com or if you have any issue with the pricing of Pabli, you can connect on this link. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.